YouTube, so I'm back for my 63rd Unity tutorial. Um, I do apologise if anyone's not liking the. Just empty my recycling bin. Anyone's not. Go away. Liking all the design tutorials, but it has to be done. I'm sorry. Um, so, looking at our game, it is nearly pretty flawless. The only one we don't have so far is the loading screens, and then we can get back to normal tutorials. So, I originally thought it was going to be nearly 10 tutorials to fix everything, but. Looking at everything, the arcade machine I created myself. The only thing we need is the cars and the loan screen, but the car, the only car what's like copyright is that one, so we can just delete that one. Yeah, so we can just delete that one now. And all we need to do is fix the loading, where is it? Um, loading screens, and then we're done. So obviously we can look through all these just to make sure everything is gone what we don't need that's all non copyrighted non compressed it's all gone we've nearly done so we can get back to doing it soon and we have got some kick I'm not swear great good suggestions coming up we've got banking systems shops um, drawing weapons combat AI we've got loads of good suggestions and some of them will be going out we also need to change the Hadouken but we'll change we'll just rename it to Fireball which would be easier. Ice ball, yeah. So, anyway, what we're going to do, back on track, loading screens. Um, so, we go to our resources. Loading screens, we have a lot of loading screens. So, we can no longer use any of these, which is not very good. So, delete every single one except one, which I'm going to do. Um, and stick this in Photoshop. And stick this in Photoshop. Which it didn't want to do. Buy to assets, resources, loading screens. Stick it in Photoshop. There we go. So what I'm going to do is get the texture of this, the background, and just get rid of this car. So yep. And this did you know needs to be gone? Actually, we could have kept the car one because then a copyright. Damn. Never mind. So in here we'll type the blah, blah 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 this is just to get the size of it so it's the same size cause I'm gonna keep the layout come on nobody complains so why should we get rid still a bit small I wish I had to keep the original one that would have helped but I didn't that'll do 48 is my size so did you know and above it here if we can type hmm um, I don't know what to type. <laughs> we need something for one of these characters. We'll do it for the surgeon. The surgeon should be good. The surgeon. That's spelled wrong. Uh, sorry about this, YouTube. But yeah, hey, you've got to do everything process right. So, the surgeon. There we go. Is the medic of the entire realm. We'll keep with the realm theme. Why not? We'll stick it to one side as well. It's the medic of the entire realm. I've put surgeons. Surgeon. Oh, is the medic of the entire realm. He. In fact, we'll put they because we want female ones as well. Um, don't worry, women, if you are there. I am trying to do some female characters, but it's harder than you think because, like, we need to put hair on a woman, or else it'll look bold. Yeah, yeah I'll just stop talking. Right. They um, have the power to heal you with the. Um, what's that band thing called? I don't know. Let's go and have a look. Um, star headband with the magic power of the star headband that's probably spelt wrong headband that's that that'll do so we can stick that there and what we can do is go to the background set the color again and get rid of all this there you go so that's how I did it star headband comma however it will be for a price. There we go. 
So now what we need is we need a picture, which we don't have yet. So we go to JPEG, we can rename this to Sir Gion loading screen. There we go. Save, yes. So we need a, a picture of it. So what's the best way to do it? Well, if you save it, this is how I always used to do it, and press Control N for a new scene. When it loads, it's just importing. There we go. What we can do is if we get one of the models, so... Um, um, where is it? The characters and figure. It's default the surgeon, which is what we want. And what we need to do is if we assign the headband to it. Where is it? Accessories, star headband, and also I think because these models have been custom made, um, I think it will fix the problem of looking. So when they used to look, if you were a common subscriber, you'd notice they would freak out quite badly but I think that these should fix it we will test that definitely test that there we go so we've got a star headband we'll keep him the red one on however we don't want him to stand with his arms out so yes we can change it so if we go in bipe and then bipe we all have the same so Nick and open up one of these and rotate it down However, there is one problem with my bone rigging, which is that his back messes up quite a bit, which you can improve on if you like. The 3DS Max file is there. If you care to share, feel free. But, yeah, so it's not that bad if you have a key. But, yeah, so. Where should we do it? Position him. Will that do? In fact, I want to move his arm out his other arm. We'll put it to his head. So if we open this up. And we need to move the other one out a bit. So you can just cut it's really cool. I, I like doing this. Like you can just sit and animate a character and then print screen him and use him and it's really really cool. So, so there, so now it looks like he's going zap and then we can add a sparkle effect to it. That'll do. So easiest way to do it is if you hold Alt and then press your print screen button. Um print screen buttons up the top of your keyboard somewhere, then go into Photoshop and click paste. Boom. We now have a picture of him. So we can kick him out of there, delete him, paste him. Get rid of the background. Oh no. Take the tolerance down. Take the background down. That's it. So what I could do is make him higher. I think I'll stick to the half off theme bit. There we go. So it looks like he's there. It's not the best, but what I'd also do is add a layout effect to him. Kind of thing, a stroke. And we'll make it greyish. Just like that. It makes him stand out a little bit. And then what we can do is if we go to a new layer, and from this star thing here, we can just colour the same colour as it. And then draw like that. It looks terrible at the moment, but give me a minute, I might be able to make it better. So then we zoom out, and we want the fireworks effect. I think all these are default in Photoshop so it's not a bad click. Boom, 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 boom. Add a different colour effect into it. It looks more like blood at the moment which is not the best. And then go back to our red. Add some red into there. Yeah, that, that doesn't look bad. So if we select our gradient paint bucket tool what we can do is not have it red and white. Um, what about red and orange? That'll do. That'll do. So if we select this here, we can add the gradient tool to it. Ooh, that looks awful. Boom. 
Hey, it'll do. So as you can see, he's now like, boom, he is the surgeon. He will heal you with magic. That should have been blue. Blue's more medic -y, but it'll do. And yes, medic is my word. So, there we go. We can go in and delete the Ford Sedan in a minute. So, now we don't need this no more, so you can get rid of that. We can open up our other model, which is, we'll just open up in uh, main menu for now because it'll be easier. So now we can get rid of this Ford. In fact, we'll keep the Ford Sedan, yes. And we have our Medic looking not very cool 